The Adidas Stan Smith sneaker is undoubtedly a forever classic. Even men who are not into style or fashion conscious know about this iconic shoe and probably have at least one pair in their sneaker rotation. I've had my Stan Smiths for a bit over a year and a half now. It's not an ordinary pair of Stan Smiths though, it's the special edition Kermit the Frog design that dropped a little bit over a year ago. And so in this comprehensive review, I'm going to quickly touch on the Stan Smith history, cover the style and design of the shoe, quality and craftsmanship, comfort and durability, shoe sizing, pros and cons, and finally wrap it up with the price to performance. Let's get started. So for a quick history of the Adidas Stan Smith, it goes back over 50 years and counting. The shoe has its status as the very first leather tennis shoe with the most popular version of the Adidas Stan Smith being the OG Cloud White and Green, which debuted in 1965. Originally named Adidas Robert Hallett after the brand endorsed the French tennis pro, but in 1978 it was renamed after Stan Smith, an American tennis player fresh off winning the US Open in 1971. Now I'm not going to bore you with any more details of the history here, so if you want a deeper dive on Adidas and the lore of the Stan Smiths, you can go and check out the article on my blog. Now let's jump right in with the style and design of the sneaker. So the Adidas Stan Smith is comprised of a white leather upper and soft cotton laces, and it's a simple minimalist sneaker design. The clear difference between the Stan Smith and other Adidas shoes is the lack of the three stripes angled across the shoe side. Instead, there's three rows of these perforated ventilation holes on both sides. There's sometimes a sketched picture of Stan Smith on the tongue of the shoe that says endorsed by Stan Smith with his signature. In the case of my Kermits, the sketch is prominently displayed in the same lime green color as the green on the back tab. All in all, the design and form of the shoe has basically stayed the same since it was originally introduced, but a myriad of new versions and colorways have appeared throughout the years. So let's delve into more specifics of this special edition Kermit sneakers. So my Kermit Stan Smith sneakers have an identical design to the current Stan Smith model, but instead of the classic Kelly Green shade, it's a much lighter shade, lime green, almost neon green color, and it's the same color as the beloved Kermit the Frog. For details, you're going to find a sketch drawing of Kermit down in the right lower right hand corner of the shoe with Kermit all in caps angled in the middle of the upper between two of the perforated stripes. With all of these small details, it's not as minimal as a pair of plain Stan Smiths, but it pays homage to the equally as iconic Muppets character. Additional details to note are on the left shoe tongue. You'll again find Kermit proudly displayed. And finally, the colored tab along the back of the shoe is the same lime green color, but instead of the Stan Smith logo type, the left shoe has printed, it's not easy, in quotes, and the right shoe being green, in quotes. And it's an obvious play on words calling out the color green and sustainability. And of course, the trefoil emblem is prominently displayed as well. Now on to the styling of the sneaker. So the Adidas Stan Smith is a superb shoe to be worn casually, which is no surprise since it was originally a sports shoe, meant to be worn on the tennis courts. With the connection to tennis, the shoe naturally vibes well with the preppy aesthetic. Think collared shirts or polo shirts. For example, here I'm rocking a super light fit for the warmer spring and summer climates with the light wash jeans, heather gray PK polo shirt, and round sunglasses. Simply put, the Stan Smiths shine with simple outfits like this. Hey, so if you want access to content that I don't share anywhere else, be sure to subscribe to the Gent Within newsletter where I'm going to send you a weekly dispatch on all things style, self-development, dating, and confidence. I'll have it linked down in the description, so go ahead and sign up. And now back to the video. So now let's get into the quality and craftsmanship of the Adidas Stan Smith. So its style and design is impeccable, but is the Adidas Stan Smith a well-built shoe? Let's find out. Leather upper. So the Stan Smith's all leather upper is made with vegan alternatives to the animal derived ingredients with their prime green, which is their own proprietary high performance recycled materials. 
And so the leather is relatively soft and it's got a subtle pebble texture when you're looking at it close up. And it features a relaxed and flexible leather shoe tongue and a rounded toe box. Now for the lining and the insoles. Adidas Stan Smith shoes, they're lined with a thin half leather lining along the back of the shoe and a light synthetic fabric lining for the rest. The insoles, they're pretty soft cushioned and they display the Adidas and Disney logo along with the prime green lettering, which likely means that the insole is made with recycled materials as opposed to synthetic like it used to be. Now for the outsoles, the shoes have a basic rubber outsole just like any other shoe around this price point. Nothing special like Margam or anything like that. The rubber is pretty grippy on all surfaces from concrete to wood flooring. And it doesn't get all that, doesn't get dirty all that easily too, which is a plus. And there's that Adidas logo type and the trefoil leaves emblem printed along the side of the outsole. And finally for the laces, the laces are a soft cotton with a crisscross lacing system with plastic eyelets for added durability. And now quickly the comfort and durability. So how comfortable is the Adidas Stan Smith? So in three words, pretty damn comfy. The fabric lining is just as soft as the leather lining and there's nothing inside of the shoe that causes discomfort, even when wearing the shoe for long periods of time. Additionally, I've worn them all day many times last summer when I was in Las Vegas just for fun. And this year when I was traveling to Boise, Idaho for a conference and just casually wearing them all day. So they've been holding up just fine. The soles are still grippy and intact. Nothing's falling apart like with a pair of cheap shoes that you'd find at your department store. And finally, the shoes are pretty easy to clean. You know, you can simply use one of those Lysol wipes or a wet towel, mix it with a dash of soap, and you'll be good to go. Alternatively, you can get those disposable shoe cleaner wipes for white leather, suede, or mesh from Rejuvenator or Simple Shine. You know, they're convenient to use when you're in a pinch. And now onto the shoe sizing. So I usually get size eight sneakers for most brands, and it's a pretty safe bet though there's always a small gap of excess room behind the ankle. And so since Adidas offers half sizes, I decided to go for seven and a half, which usually fits me well too. At seven and a half, it's a perfect fit for me when I go either sockless or I'm wearing thin no-show socks. But with thicker wool socks for winter, it becomes slightly snug, though not to the point that it's uncomfortable. They do not offer wider sizes, and so it could be a problem area for those with wider than normal feet. My feet are normal, though narrower shoes like the Killshot 2s worn for lengthy periods of time can cause me a bit of discomfort. These Stan Smiths, however, are comfortable worn all day. They fit me normally like my Nike Internationalist, Nike Air Max, uh, and shoes from other well-known brands like Greats, Koyo, Oliver Cabell, Avasia, and Beckett Simonon. Now, let's get on to the price to performance. So in the current economic environment, a pair of Adidas Stan Smith retails on their website for under $100 at about $95. As of the moment, the classic white cloud green colorway is on sale for $67, which is a price that you can find it at at various points throughout the year. At the $67 price point, this all leather sustainable sneaker is more than half the cost of some other entry to mid-level sneakers like the direct consumer favorite Beckett Simonon Reed, which retails for $159, and it's more than three times cheaper than a pair of Oliver Cabell Low Ones, which are currently on sale for $199. They're even a good deal less expensive than affordable Thursday Premier Low Top sneakers, which clocks in at about $129. And finally, it retails about the same as the wildly popular Nike Kill Shot 2s, sold out on Nike's website again which is currently available on Amazon for $79, which is still more than the Stan Smith, which is currently going for $67 on Amazon as well. And so with a comfortable step, a quality build, and a highly affordable price point, this iconic sneaker punches well above its weight while graded on price to performance. So are the Adidas Stan Smith sustainable? That's a commonly asked question. So you've got to commend them. Adidas, they've been working towards making their shoes particularly the Stan Smiths with more sustainable materials. Today, the Stan Smith is made with vegan alternatives to the animal-derived ingredients or materials, and is also made with that prime green technology that I mentioned before, which is a series of high-performance recycled materials. And the upper is made with 
50% recycled content with no virgin polyester. By 2024, Adidas said that they're committed to use only recycled polyester in all of their shoes, which, you know, it's a great statement, but let's hold them to it. Now, some of the pros and cons of the sneaker. So, the Adidas Sand Smith is a renowned sneaker that is culturally relevant as it is a style icon. It's available in over 30 colors on the Adidas website for ultimate versatility. It's got a sharp and stylish silhouette. It's sustainably made with an affordable price point, and it's always in stock, available to purchase on their website and Amazon. And now some of the cons, you'll be following the crowd by wearing this sneaker. And the special edition drops like this one sell out really fast, and they can be hard to find in the resale market. All right, so I've been wanting to put out this review together for a while now, and it's always fun to write about products that have permeated the fashion zeitgeist and are rooted in sports history, like Nike Kill Shots. And so you can check out another sneaker review right here, or another video right here. And so that's all I got for this one. Cheers to your style, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.